Hey guys, today I'm going to try to solve the mystery of where did these cards, where did this leak come from? So Pharos Beyond Death is supposed to come out, I think in three months. Like it's supposed to be a while for uh, this set to come out. Let me go ahead and look. Oh, four months before the set's release. And it looks like someone just got a hold of some packs and they posted them online. They opened them and posted them online. And I can tell you it's a store. So let me go ahead and tell you that this leak came from a store. Now, of course, the original post, so the original post was on Twitter, but then the Twitter post was copied on Immigur. And then Immigur was reposted on Twitter and now it's everywhere. If I were Wizard of the Coast, I would be very suspicious because who could possibly have a boost up? There can't be, be that many people with, and it's more than a booster pack or free booster packs. Based on the amount of cards that we see as well as one of each land, there's got to be at least five booster packs, which makes sense. Um, and he would have to be lucky, he or she would have to be lucky enough to get one of each land. But there's also five tokens, including a double soldier token. And from this image is the only image that you should care about because it shows a card display. So either the person opened it and for some reason took a picture at their local game store. Or it was a local game store themselves. So I'm going to go off a little information I received. I have not confirmed this information but I'm being told that it is a one of the big stores, Channel Fireball, Star City Games. One of those two, their employees received packs early, and they opened them. And that is exactly what happened. And they accidentally posted the cards online. And of course, they... After the original post of um, them at the store, they put kind of a cover so you couldn't really make out that it was in the store. But that one image of the car display indicates that, yes, a store did open this. People are always concerned about inside trading. Does it happen? Is it real? Is it not real? Uh, I mean, these cards have already been produced. Uh, they have already been printed. They've already been wrapped. They have already are in booster packs and ready to go and possibly booster boxes. And they're now being opened. So how can there not be inside trading when... So a leak is when someone discloses something that's not supposed to be disclosed. But normally I would suggest that these big stores always have access to every card so they can decide what to buy, what to sell. So if you really want to know what's going on, always look at the buy list of Channel Fireball and Star City Games because from those two, you can kind of figure out what's coming out in the set, what changes in prices may ha have happened. It's not a rent. I mean, it's literally a, a store with a few booster packs and they opened them. And then after opening them, they posted their pools online. That's crazy, in my opinion. Uh, it, it's really crazy that it has gotten to that. Yeah, I mean, the leaks. I thought the leaks had stopped. I mean, one person leaked the entire Ixalan. Every rare and mythic from Ixalan was leaked four months ahead of time. And then all the commander decks were leaked way before ahead of time, too. The dragon commander deck. And I think it's the same person. Because you can tell from the cloth and... Obviously, they have gotten smarter and realized that you shouldn't take a picture of the cards in a store with a display. Because if you really wanted to, you could actually figure out what store it was, but based on the display and the cards in the display. Of course, maybe the store changes it, but then, like, you know, at that point, it would be a little too late. Yeah, it literally is a guy who opened some packs and then posted what he opened online. <laughs> and I don't think this guy... I think it's the same dude who posted the uh, commander deck, the drag, the five color dragon commander deck when it came out, um, and that was a big deal because it spiked all the dragon cards. And the guy is not going to post something unless it benefits him and starts spiking cards. 
regardless, the leaks are, are, of course, very fascinating to me because, A, you know, inside trading absolutely goes on. I mean, if you don't believe it goes on, just take a look at this. Some random person is dominating the Magic the Gathering news cycle. And honestly, if he just posted one or two cards and kind of, kind of just slowly leaked it, he would have way more attention. So the way that he's doing it shows me that maybe he doesn't really know what he's doing or what he has his hands on. The same with the guy who posted an entire sheet of uh, foil rares and mythics from Ixlon, including a Jace. I mean, he could have just... I mean, imagine if I got my hands on this. What I would do is every day I would just spoil two new cards. <laughs> that would be it. And I would force Wizards of the Coast to uh, release the set early, which is what the one guy did. I don't know. Quality control doesn't seem to be a priority at Wizards of the Coast. I'm just very shocked that this stuff is already getting out four months ahead of time. And yeah, I mean, it stinks for content creators who get these, I guess. That, that would not be me. But then again, the content creator is just repeating the card. So basically, this does exactly what the content creator is doing, except it doesn't drive traffic to them. And it doesn't allow Wizard of Coast to show favorism. This is pretty interesting news. And I would love to talk to... I think this, based on his camera angling, and I think it's the same dude. I mean, okay, if it's the same dude, you have a problem. If it's just random dudes, and these people are not connected in any way you have a major problem because you're leaking from multiple places at that point in time. So and for Wizard of the Coast's sake, I, I think, I hope it's the same dude that did Commander and Ixalan. Because if this is a new guy, yikes. Um, yikes. I, like if I was Wizard of the Coast, this is exactly not the way I want my Elspeth to be um, showcased. <laughs> my Chase Mythic Elspeth the whole story revolves around is on black tissue, Halloween tissue paper in a blurry potato camera with bad shadowing. Ugh. 